hello guys uh welcome back to my channel maison african motives uh, still working on mechanical techniques and four so in this platform we shall have a continuation uh, working on different question papers and revisions for precision measurement so if you are having challenges on precision measurement guys all what all you need to do is to work on much question papers because like there are some stages and steps that you are supposed to follow whenever you're answering these typical questions so the moment you do more questions uh that's the more you get to know how or what is actually happening there so anyways not wasting much time if you're new guys you can consider subscribing to this channel Mason african motives so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having for Mason african motives so quickly rushing through the question that we had we are given that uh on 4.1 which is the first part two rollers with diameter of 20 millimeters are being used for checking the accuracy of two inclined faces as shown in fig 2 all right so this time we are given a certain setup these rollers are the same in terms of the diameter but different angles now that we are given there all right and you want to calculate the distance x there all right so there are so many things actually guys that uh, will be occurring here so many many things that will be occurring so what you're going to do is uh, if you are to consider this x it's in the horizontal line with the same 125 meters this one all right so what we can do is to make at least adjustments here because we can have from this point to this point like this techno there's a triangle that can be formed here which is actually a right angle triangle also there can be a right angle triangle which can be formed here also from these tangents remember I, I told that these in mathematics they become tangents and this one become tangent so whenever you're working with these questions you have to apply your mathematical skills guys okay so now what we are going to do is uh, we actually know that i was supposed to make a sketch anyways let me just use this diagram okay we know from this point to this point let's just say this is our a i'm going to make some sketches later on this is our b here and this is our c all right this is the radius from this point a to this point is the radius so that is our radius here which is the radius is the same thing so of which the diameter is there is 20 so radius is just 20 over 2 which is 10 millimeters so here we have 10 millimeters all right then uh, let's just talk about let's just skip this and uh, move on to this part here here we've got the same thing again here the same concept again this is our radius here, the radius from this point to this point. So let's just say this is center D. Uh, let's just put D there. Any any letter of your choice, guys. And this will be our F. What would be where will be our E. We'll put our E here so that it can make a straight line here. So it will be E F like that. A, B, C, D, E, and F. Alright. So we want to calculate this distance here and this distance here so as you can see they are all in the horizontal so what are we going to do all right let's start by writing this equation that we are going to use from b to f that is our this one from b to f that is actually our 125 millimeters from b to f this one all right so that is a bf there is going to give us what are we going to have if we add this bc here bc and the radius and x and the radius and e to f they can give us this 125 so 125 is equal to bc plus the radius plus we said bc plus the radius plus x this x here you add that x there i think can be clear like this so you add that okay so you're going to add that x all right then what else the radius again this one and ef so it will be plus the radius 
plus EF like this. So this one we have is 10 millimeters. Remember, we are given, we have calculated this radius is 10 millimeters here. All right. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I have also this one BF. Remember, from B to F, that is our 125 millimeters. So I also have this one. But I do not have this BC. So I have to calculate this BC and EF. So I just need these two so that I can find this X. So where am I going to find BC? Okay, this is what is going to happen. I want to make a sketch now where we are going to find how we are going to take that angle because that is very, very important. Yeah, we've got something like this here. All right, that's something like this. Okay. And this is the angle that we are given here of 58 degrees. I've just taken this portion here from this point to this point like this, this one. This is what we have, something like that. Okay. And the triangle is taken from the center. And these two, they are tangents to the circle. This one is a tangent and a tangent. So what does a tangent do? Is I'm not going to draw the circle because we want to focus with the triangle like this. So remember, from the center, it divides this angle into two equal parts. So this angle here, which is in the triangle here, this one, is the one that I want to focus, this one and this one are going to be divided because it's like this. So these two angles will be equal. So we can calculate this angle. Why? Because this is a straight line. And we know that angles on a straight line, they adapt 180. So we are going to subtract 180 minus 58 degrees. But we said these two angles, that is the, the ones that you're going to have here, you divide by two. Remember, um, we say they are equal, so that is why we are dividing by two. So this is going to give us 61 degrees. So this will be 61, 61 degrees, All right? So that's 61 degrees, remember? So if we add these, they are going to give us 18. So take note, guys. A tangent it by six from your Euclidean geometry the great way of you understand this concept okay then this is uh, a tangent again and I told you that whenever a tangent meets with a circle both there's a circle there it's going to meet at 90 degrees so this is our point a this is our B and this is our C so remember guys our main focus is to calculate BC and also from a to C, this one from A to C, as you can see, that is a radius there because it's from the center to the circle from A, that line here, this line here, this one, that is the radius just like this line, just like this line, that is a radius because it's from the center to the circle, so it's a radius that one. So A, C, this one, it represents the radius, which is a uh, our radius is 10 millimeters like this okay so that means I can calculate BC so here what are we doing we are calculating uh, BC uh, use triangle which triangle did we use we use triangle ABC okay so this is triangle ABC like this all right now uh, this is the stage guys that you're going to do here using this triangle a b c you want to calculate b c so as you can see this is an angle that you're given and according to this angle this is your opposite and uh, that's our adjacent here so which ratio actually can i use from uh, those uh, soca tour uh, this is going to be tan remember guys from our so to opposite and adjacent that's tan opposite over adjacent so it's actually tan the angle which is tan 61 degrees is equal to the opposite uh, over the adjacent all right which is uh, tan 61 degrees that's our opposite which is this one AC and we said AC is 10 which is the radius over BC so this one we say it because it's the radius okay so that means someone can find bc here how is that so cross multiply that's bc tan 60 degrees is equal to 10 so you can divide by tan 60 not 60 but 61 all right this is tan 61 guys take note so bc will be equal to 10 over tan 61 degrees okay so what will be our bc now 
that's gonna give us 5,543905 something like that you can round off to three decimal places that's gonna be five four three this zero cannot change and this is in millimeters all right so that's our bc in millimeters guys this one is our bc in millimeters so then oh, how is it going to help us how is it going to help us having this pc actually where where did i write these values let me just take it there so that it can help us again so let's just put this aside this one and see what we have to calculate again guys all right so that we can see let's just cross check the diagram first all right so, so i have it here all right so bc is now there we are now left with ef all right so this is that was for bc only this one all right that was only for bc and uh, we just took the part because remember guys there was a circle here but we just focus with the triangle only okay so we are going to do the same thing now so to calculate ef because now we want to calculate ef so calculate ef so use triangle which triangle are you going to use this time okay as you can see ef is on this triangle so you're going to use this one efdod ef this one so you're going to use that triangle so use triangle d ef right so you're just going to take just like what we did remember these are tangents so this angle is going to be divided into two equal parts just like previously but this time it's on this side like this that is the consideration that we have there so this is an angle of what of 62 degrees like this so this one is going our triangle take note our triangle guys is just part of this so it's going to be divided into two equal parts this one because it's from the radius to the tangents that same law or concept i have explained before so that is what so i'm just going to take this and this are equal because this is our tangent like if you are to draw a circle this circle which is there like this a tangent like this i said from the center it bisects it, it it divides into two equal parts that is to bisect okay but this is a straight line where we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 so we are going to subtract 62 degrees definitely these two angles are equal so how am i going to obtain each of the angles i have to divide by by two so this is going to give us 59 degrees okay so this is going to be 59 here and inside also is going to be 59 all right so take note this is our d e f so this is our d e to f here so this is part of the diagram and this is 90 like that and from d to e from d to e let's cross check again just like previous part that's our radius here from this point d to e that's a radius just like this is your radius so this one is the radius which is 10 millimeters remember guys our radius is 10 millimeters okay so in this case d e is equal to 10 millimeters which is the radius all right so we can calculate ef remember guys we want to calculate ef so let's not waste time uh narrating a lot of things let's rush to calculate ef what are we given according to this triangle this is your opposite and this is your adjacent so which ratio uses opposite and adjacent we say this one is for tan like we have used before so let's just put it here that's tan of 59 degrees is equal to the opposite which is 10 over the adjacent which is ef so remember you want to calculate ef so you can actually cross multiply that's ef tan 59 degrees is equal to 10 all right so you divide by tan 59 that's going to give us ef which is 10 over tan 59 degrees like this so that's your ef here um which is going to give you six comma zero zero eight six zero something like that all right so you can actually round off to three decimal places here this is going to change to nine six is going to change this to nine which is six comma zero zero nine 
millimeters okay that's our ef so as you can see guys we got our ef just like that our ef is there now let's work our magic again but um we wrote before uh where is that equation let me just look at it again this is what we wrote here guys um if i'm not mistaken here is that so or it's not the one is it the one with af guys for i'm using the one from the previous class let me just take it okay this is not the one now i'm working with mixed papers very sorry for that guys this is the one here all right remember guys this is the one where we have got our 125 here remember our statement from this part here all right so we are going to take this now big because we now have this ef so let us just make x the subject here um that's gonna be what bf like this minus bc minus okay r plus r this one is 2r so you can just subtract 2r there minus ef is going to give us x here but writing that this is equal to x is the same thing as writing x is equal to we can substitute now bf remember bf we said we have it from b to f that is this length here which we said is 125 so it's 125 minus 2 times r which is the radius remember our radius is 10 so it's 2 times 10 all right, I have skipped this one. Take, take note, guys. I have skipped BC, so it's minus this BC. Take note, guys. I skipped this one. Uh, we have this one BC here. We calculated this BC. So as you can see, once you write this and you're just substituting, that's the good part of it. So that's gonna give us five comma five four three. Okay, just substitute your BC as it was. Then we also you have to subtract where is this oh sorry minus ef guys which is this one that we calculated here this was our ef which is minus six comma zero zero nine okay so that means our x is now naked so we can find the value now so finding this value is going to be 93 comma 448 which all measurements are in millimeters like that so that's how we play around guys so actually this uh, like mechanical techniques guys i'm just doing this because uh, of the mathematical skills and so but not like i was actually teaching this but no so guys you can just like consider this what i'm doing from from this uh, stages and steps mechano techniques it's a follow step subject where you have to follow the stages and the steps uh, from your previous questions that you answered before you can use those ideas and knowledge to attempt any question so what you need is to work on more questions so that you'll be able to know how do they ask how do they ask so following up working with question papers and revisions will make you understand more so that's it guys from Mason african motives working on mechanical techniques and for till we meet again